great three learners and welcome to we teach channel it's been two years since new normal was implemented in our new curriculum everyone adjusts so today i am excited to teach the lesson in this kind of platform welcome to our science class i am sir webster Nies, your teacher and instructor for today before we start our discussion, I will give you the things that you need to achieve. First, give the function of the different sense organ of the body. Second, appreciate the importance of the senses of the body. And third, recognize the five senses. Are you all ready? If you are, I want you to give me five. Two eyes to see what I will teach, two ears to listen what I will discuss, and one mouth to recite and ask a question. Is that clear? Then, if it is clear, let's sing a song. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch, they do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Mmm, apples. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch, they do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. So I see that all of you are lively sing along with us. So with that, let's sing again the song. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch, they do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Mmm, apples. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch, they do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Did you enjoy watching, listening, and sing along with the song? Okay, it's obvious that all of you enjoy it. So, what are the parts of the body mentioned in the song? Okay, very good. There were five parts of the body mentioned in the song. Eyes, nose, hands, ears, and tongue. So with that, what do you think is our topic for today? Okay, very good. Our topic is all about five sense organ. To help us in understanding
understanding the sense of sight, let's have teacher Danica. Our first sense is sense of sight. What organ are we going to use with the sense of sight? The eyes are used for seeing and it is our sense of sight. Example, we can see leaves, flowers, people, and a lot of things using our eyes. Okay, I will give you 5 seconds to observe the picture. Now, what did you notice in the picture? Okay, very good. Now, what sense organ did you use to say that it is beautiful? Very good. We use our eyes. So, eyes are important because it helps each and everyone to see and observe the things in our surroundings. To help us, in understanding the sense of smell, let's have teacher bless. The second sense is sense of smell. The nose helps us to recognize a variety of smell. Okay class, I will show you some example. Okay, I will give you a five seconds to observe the picture. Now, what did you notice in the picture? Is the picture have a good smell or a bad smell? Okay, very good. The perfume that you see has a good smell. What about the next picture? It is a bad smell or a good smell? Okay, very good. The second picture that you see has a bad smell. Now, what sense organ did you use to say it has a good smell or a bad smell? Amazing! We use our nose. Nose are important because it helps us each and everyone to smell. If it has a good smell or a bad smell. To help us in understanding the sense of touch, let's have teacher Colleen. The third sense is the sense of touch. The hands help us to touch things properly and to know if it is soft, hard, or rough. Okay class, I will show you some examples. Okay class, I will give you 5 seconds to observe this picture. Now, what did you see in the picture? Is the object in the picture is soft, hard, or rough? Fantastic! The rock that you see in the picture is rough and hard. How about in the next picture? Is the object in the picture is soft, hard, or rough? Very good! The pillow that you see in the picture is soft. Now, what sense organ did you use to say if it is rough, hard, or soft? Yes, very good. We use our hands because hands are important because it helps us to hold things properly and to know the textures of different objects. To help us in understanding the sense of hearing, let's have teacher Jeril. The fourth sense is the sense of hearing. Ears play an important role in hearing or perceiving sounds. Okay. I will give you one minute to watch and observe the video. Now, what did you hear in the video? Is it loud or soft sound? Fantastic! The video produced a loud and soft sound. Now, what sense organs did you use to hear the sounds? Yes, always remember that we use our ears to hear the sounds. To help us in understanding the sense of taste, let's have teacher Christina. The peep 
and lessons in the sense of taste. Tongue help us in recognizing taste and flavors due to the presence of taste buds. Now, I will give you one minute to watch and observe the video. We can taste it with our mouths. We can taste it with our tongues. We can taste it with our mouths. We can taste it with our tongues. What do I taste? I taste something sweet. What do I taste? Ooh, I taste candy. What do I taste? I taste something sour. discuss the five sense organ. Did you understand our lesson? Okay, very good. Since you understand our lesson, it's time for your activity. I want you to get a pencil and paper to answer this activity. Here is the direction. Right N if we use the sense organ nose. Right E if we use the sense organ ears. Right T, if we use the sense organ tongue. H, if we use the sense organ hands. And EY, if we use the sense organ eyes. So number your paper 1 to 5. And I will present the 5 question. You have only 5 minutes to answer this activity. Now, let's check your paper. Put a check if your answer is correct. I will also show the answer on the screen. Now that we are done in your activity, it's time for your quiz. Bring out your paper and pencil. Number your paper 1 to 5. Direction. Tell which sense organ you will use to describe the following. Number one, the height of the building. Number two, the taste of ampalaya. Number three, the texture of the silk cloth. Number four, the smell of sampagita. And number five, the last number, the beautiful music. Now, let's check your quiz. Just like what you did earlier, you were going to check your own paper. Just be honest because honesty is the best policy. I will present the answer on the screen. Okay, number one, eyes. 
Number two, tongue. Number three, hands. Number four, nose. And number five, ears. Okay, what is your score? If you got four to five, it means that you understand our lesson. And if you got three and below, don't worry. You can always review our video lesson if you miss some parts. Always remember, we will learn if we listen, focus, and understand the lesson. That's the end of our lesson. I hope that you understand and know the five functions of the sense organ. It's time to say goodbye to your classmate and to your teacher. I am your teacher Webster together with teacher Danica, teacher Bless, teacher Colleen, teacher Christina, and teacher Jeril. We are your teacher in this morning in We Teach channel. Goodbye class and see you next time.